Hi you guys, um, it is Monday morning and I am in my office. Um, I decided to uh, come up to Flagstaff and spend the day. I have, um, well I have writing to do, which I can do here in my office, and then also um, my husband and I have been spending a lot of money on gas since, you know, since we're driving, uh, since he's driving so much farther for work, at least for now. My mom has what is called a wall move tonight. She's an artist. Every three months, the um, artists whose things are on the wall get moved to a different location, and that's so that you know one person doesn't get the prime location all the time. So they rotate every three months. And um, so I always help her with that. So John and I are gonna help her um, at five o'clock, so I'm gonna pick him up after work and then we'll go over there, pick him up after he's done with work. But I have several things to do up here today. I wanna go visit my dad. Um, my car's filthy, I'm gonna get my car washed. Um, I'm going to go over to Kohl's to buy some uh, foundation. I have a 20% off coupon, so I'm gonna go get some Lorac foundation. And also take a look at their uh, comforter sets for king size beds because we um, just got uh, another king size bed and so we're setting up our second guest bedroom we've only had one guest bedroom in the past um, the other thing I'm doing right here with my laptop is uploading video I went ahead and filmed several things in the last week or so and figured when I was up here on campus I would go ahead and upload them because the internet at NAU is unbelievably fast. So um, I'm holding out hope for one more thing though so that I can upload video easily when I'm at home or at least in Camp Verde and that is that there's a new library opening up in Camp Verde in November. Not exactly sure what day but I'm hoping they'll have broadband there and if they do then that just means all I have to do is run over there it's you know a couple miles down the road and probably even just sit in the parking lot to upload some videos not a big deal but um, I'm uploading like seven today um, a couple for busy being Jen my other channel which I will link in the space below and then uh, several for the, for little green farmhouse so that's kind of okay so it's Tuesday I thought I would take you guys I thought I would take you out here to see the raspberry bushes I planted. Um, these are ones that I had dug up the I dug up the offshoots in my old backyard because raspberries spread. So I took some of those with. And there this is about I think this is the fourth day they've been in the ground. They seem to be doing pretty well. Here's one of them. Got a little bit crispy over here, but it seems to be doing okay. There's a teeny, teeny one right here. I hope it makes it. Looks like it's a little fragile. Then over here I plant, see this is kind of a, you know, nothing to look at kind of area. So, oh, little cow over there checking me out. She's actually looking at me because she was wondering if I have, if I have food for her. So I have a raspberry bush there and one right there. It's kind of funny to refer to them as bushes. I have one here and also one and also one here. Then over here in this area there's a like a little um it's like an extra parking area over here. Well, there's my husband's truck, and uh, you could park an RV there too. It's got hookups for that. But I kind of wanted to get this these little plantings sort of location bound. Um, this one is mint that I brought from my yard. Um, mint is pretty invasive, and so I figured if I kind of locked it in, it may not go too crazy. It's also close enough to the grass that when we irrigate it will get watered so I won't have to worry about watering it too much. And then this right here, it's floppy, but this is a horseradish and I had a huge horseradish plant in my other house and uh, have never harvested off of it and now I'm going to have to wait again because you have to wait until it's really settled for 
um, two or three years before you can start to harvest off of it. And then this is, these again were little runners that I took off of that plant. Um, so it's going to take a few years before um, I can harvest off of this and it's going to be huge. This will get really, really big. And uh, horseradish is also quite invasive. So I figured by planting it here, it's sort of boxed in. So it can't really go too far. This is the area that the previous owners um, had set aside for gardening and it's about, I don't know, two thirds this bigger than what I had to garden in in my other yard. Um, I may do more garden space in the future, but this will be a good place to start. And then uh, this right here in the corner is um, just a, some kind of a squash plant. I'm guessing it's, it's like a zucchini or something. Um, I'm just letting it grow. <laughs> I think it just was there by accident, actually, but um, I'm letting it grow um, just to see what happens. Probably will die from a frost before anything happens to it, but, you know, just thought if it wanted to grow and if it wanted to give me a zucchini before the frost, I would take it. And then also here, this is great. This is a, this is an asparagus plant. Can you see it? Let's burn thing here. Those take about two or three years to get established before you can cut them and actually harvest asparagus. But um, this one is here, so yay. Uh, all I'll have to do is just let it g grow wispy like this throughout the winter, and then in the spring I'll cut it back, and then it should start giving me some little shoots of asparagus. Okay, and this is gross. This is dead, you guys. My husband is fascinated by it, though. This is called a Hercules beetle. It's huge. Let me give you an idea. It's huge. Let me give you an idea of how big this thing is. Like, here's my finger. I mean, that thing is really big. And my husband spotted it the other day, dying. And he's so fascinated by it that he had to set it out here. I don't know what he's going to do with it. I certainly hope he doesn't plan to bring it in the house. And I just now realized there was a package on the porch, and I know what it is. I'm not very excited about this. This is a little thing like the one I got for Vanessa. In loving memory of Chloe, 2003 to 2016. So, there they are. There's a little, on my porch, there's just this little area where I can grow things. I have some cat grass growing down there and some uh, lettuce and spinach and stuff like that here. And so there are my two little, that's a light between them, by the way, in case you're wondering what that is down below. But it's my little memorial stakes for my puppies. Um, I think they look very pretty. But I wish I had my dogs. All right, here is tonight's soft chew dinner. Uh, there's ground beef that's been browned, that's on the bottom, that's also mixed with some oregano, just a teaspoon of oregano and salt and pepper. So that's on the bottom. And then on top of that is a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. On top of that is a can of uh, hot chili this one has no beans you spread that out over the top and then they're crushed tortilla chips and i top that with another cup of shredded mozzarella cheese cook at 375 for 30 minutes and i'm guessing that the tortilla chips are supposed to soften in the process we'll see how this turns out so here it is, hot out of the oven, nice and bubbly. It's not really going to be a lot to it. It's sort of like Mexican chili mush for dinner. But keep in mind that this cookbook was not, it's not made, these recipes are not from a chef. It was actually written by a guy whose wife had severe TMJ, and so he was trying to come up with good ideas for things that she could eat. Um, this smells pretty good. Uh, we'll see how it tastes. I'll let you know. Okay, I just tasted it. It's good. Not the most amazing thing I've ever had in my life, but, you know, it's a good meal. And the uh, chips 
actually got mushy, so I can have those. And then I'm serving it for my husband over here with the stuff here in the bowl and then some chips on the side so he can actually scoop it up like it's a dip. Hey you guys, it's Wednesday night. I didn't film all day. I was just doing freelance writing all day. Um, went to the grocery store and um, realized that I hadn't, I hadn't filmed anything. Um, so anyway, and I also realized that, you know, it's Wednesday and I need to go ahead and finish out this portion of the week's vlog and put it up for you so you guys will have it on Thursday. Let's hope that goes according to plan. So anyway, that's the end of the midweek vlog. Mm -hmm.